Hi guys, welcome to Tecomba's YouTube channel. Today I am going to discuss about one of the Unix utility called C-Scope. This utility is used for examining the C source codes. Normally, whenever we work in C projects, we might need to debug the code where we will be trying to check for a particular functions or variables usage in the entire project source code. And also we might look for what are the functions are called by a specific function or what are the functions are calling a specific function. Like this, we would have different need to debug the code for this. We might need to navigate through a different folder or source codes and it requires too much of manual work. Here, using this utility, we can easily do all these tasks from a single location. Let's move on to the demo. Before going into the demo, let me show you the files I would be using in this demo. There are three files, two header file and one main C file. The files are empfunctions.h, empmanage.c, emputils.c. From this directory only, we are going to execute the cscope utility. I am showing each file content here so that it will be easy for you to connect the things while going through the demo. emp underscore functions dot h. In this header file, we have kept only one function named add employee. emp manage dot c. In this, we are including two custom header files and we have a main function. In this, we have few variable declaration and assignments and also making some of the function calls emputils.h in this file we have kept the global variables and we have defined few structures and few global functions so now we will get into this utility to run the utility we can simply type the command cscope and press the enter it will take you to an interactive screen which has multiple options to help us in examining the source codes let us explore the options one by one. Finding this C symbol. This option helps us to find the C symbols in all the source codes. Before that, what is C symbol? In C program, mainly any definitions like variable, macro, functions are treated as symbols. In our program, we have used all these symbols. Let's check this option. I am going to look for this variable named total underscore employee underscore count. Now you got the results. And it contains the details about file functions and respect, uh, respective line numbers on which these symbols are used from a single point of location we can see all of these details very clearly for example i am looking for another function named drop cap if you look at the results this function is being used in three different files if you want to move around on these files you can use the down arrow and up arrow to navigate to these files and now you want to enter into the specific file then you can move move the cursor to the respective file and press the enter then the system will take you to that file you can very well come out of the file from pressing the colon q if you would like to go to another file then move the cursor accordingly and press enter so this is all about find this c option now we will go to the next option find this global definition i am searching for the symbol which we used in previous option total employee count if you look at i didn't get any results because it's not a global variable now i am going to look for one of the global variable used in our program n underscore of underscore employees see now the system has taken me directly inside the file because only one global variable declaration is there in the entire file system if you wish to make any changes you can do it else you can come out of the editor now we will see the next option find functions called by this function it means to find the functions which are called by a specific function for example i am using draw care function see this function is being used in emp underscore utils.h file and you could see that the function draw care is calling a function printf two times on line number 29 and 30. let me check for a function main now you can see clearly that the main function is calling multiple functions like draw care, display message, add employee, print of in different lines of code. This would be very much useful for us while analyzing the code to understand what are the functions are called by a specific function. Most of the times we cannot look through the codes manually to check for the occurrence of the function calls. This would be helping us in a great extent. Next one is find functions calling this function. This means check for a function which calls a particular function. This is also a very useful option. Let's see, I am looking for a draw care function that which are all the functions are calling this function draw care. 
you can see that this function is used in two files and two different functions namely add employee and main and it's been called twice in those functions next option is find this text string so far we have searched for variables functions those are c symbols but this option helps us to find any files where a particular text is occurred so let me now search for a simple text manage if you look at the text manage it's present in the emp underscore manage dot c so like this if you want to search for any text you can use this option to do the same next option is change this text string i will come to this later next option is find this egrep pattern you might have used the grep or egrep unix command to search for the string in the files in unix system for example here i'm going to search for the pattern add capital e dot star e e it means we wanted to look for the string starting with add capital e and ends with two small e's if you look this pattern present in two files employee function dot h and employee manage dot c the next option is find files it is used to find the files i am searching for the file name emp underscore utils dot h it takes me to the file directly so from a single location we can find any files and open them and use it accordingly next option is find files hash including this file it means find the files which are having in hash included a specific header file i am giving the input header file as emp utils.h to find which are all the source files or hash including this file you can see that in emp underscore manage.c this header file has been included this is also will be very useful in the case where we mistakenly included a header file in any of the source file and now if we want to exclude them using this option we can easily find the files and take the required action next option is find assignments to this symbol this is very useful option to find specific variables which gets assigned with any value in any of the c source code files here you can see that total employee count variable get assigned in emp underscore manage dot c on two locations let's see the last option change this text string by this we can easily change the string which we wanted to search for and change it to a different string globally it's not required to manually navigate through the directories and open them for any modification. For example, here I am searching for the string max underscore num underscore employees and going to change it to max underscore n underscore employees. Now you got the results here and you can see this string is here in two files emp underscore manage.c and emp underscore utils.h. If you would like to change only in emp underscore utils.h file, then you can simply press the number one and you can notice that a greater than symbol got populated near one to indicate that it's been marked likewise you can navigate through the respective lines and mark them by pressing the respective number after marking you can press ctrl plus d key combination to save the changes it will show you the changes has been done if you want to continue with the changes then you can press enter and now the changes has been made to the required files now to exit from the utility we can press ctrl plus t combination to exit from the application if you see the files the changes has been done in only the emp underscore utils dot h file not in emp underscore manage dot c thank you so much for watching the video i will get back to you with another interesting video